Hello YouTube. Alright, here I am on my Windows 8 test subject. And, uh, this is the project I want to talk about. I was pointing to this on Facebook, uh, today by somebody. It's called Classic Shell. And what this does is it adds functionality back to the start menu in Windows 7 and adds the start menu back to Windows 8. Classic Shell is a collection of features that were available in older versions of Windows but were later removed. It has a customizable start menu, a start button for Windows 7 and Windows 8, it adds a toolbar for Windows Explorer, and adds a variety of smaller features. Look here for the full list. So this is an idea of uh, what it looks like. For example, in Windows 7, it brings back that sort of um, classic start menu look that you used to be able to get in uh, XP. Uh, I think they removed that in Vista. I can't remember. Uh, but either way, that's when they changed the interface. This is the old school interface, but that still keeps the search function, which is really nice, because I like the search function in the start menu. That's kind of convenient. Uh, but more importantly, this adds the start menu back to Windows 8. And I think we should test it out by going through the install together. So let me go to the Windows Explorer here and go to Downloads and Classic Shell. Classic shell setup. Let's do this. Yes, I signed my life away. <laughs> classic Explorer. So here's what it does. It adds the Classic Explorer, the Classic Start Menu, Classic IE9, and Classic Shell Update. Now, I think before we install this, we should see what it, see what it looks like now. Currently, this is Windows 8, so, you know, this is your All Programs folder, the Apps portion here. So you go back here to the desktop, and this is your Windows. Ex this is Windows Explorer, which now has the ribbon UI, which is not, which is actually works pretty well with um, with uh, Windows Explorer. I didn't think it would, but I actually really like that. Uh, IE9, I think it adds a toolbar. So this is IE9 on Windows 7 right now, or Windows 8. I'm sorry. keep calling this Windows 7 for some reason. So that's IE9, which is just the way it looks on Windows 7, really. Uh, so let's install this. See what it does. Okay, it's installed. And as you can see, this is Windows 8 release preview. Well, guess what? Now there's a start menu because of that. Once you click on that, when you first install it, you get a setup dialog. You can choose the way you want it to be, from Windows Classic to Windows XP to Windows Vista and Windows 7. Um, if you're a Windows XP type of person, you can choose that. If you're a Windows Classic type of person who grew up with 98 and really likes the way that looks, you can do it that way. Or if you're a Windows Vista, Windows 7 person, sort of like I am, um, then that's the option for you. Basic settings. So these are the settings you can choose, which are pretty cool. Let's you choose what everything does. Which is pretty cool. I like that. You can do a lot. You can put different skins on here to make it look like uh, like the way it used to be. There is a skin to make it look like. You can use Luna, Basic Arrow, Smoked Glass, the Metro stuff. The menu items will be reset. Alright. So let's try it and see what it does. Now that I've chosen the Windows 7. Oh, look at that. Start menus back. Oh, wow. Hey! That is pretty nice. Wow. This, in my opinion, makes Windows 8 extremely usable. I just wish computer was still in here, but it's not. Search for files for people. Run is in there. That is pretty darn awesome. Now, when you press the Windows key, it's also supposed to control that, but... I'm using one of these compact Cherry Switch keyboards, so it doesn't have Windows keys. So I can't really show you that, but 
let's change the start menu options and see what it does with the other couple of uh, instances. So, start menu style. Let's make it like Windows XP and see what happens. There's Windows XP. It has the. Uh, it even has the Luna theme on it. That's pretty cool, man. I like it. I personally don't like the Luna theme at all, but classic start menu. All right. Let's try Windows Classic and see what that looks like. There you go. I like this one a lot, actually. This is probably the one I would use. Either this one or Windows, the Windows 7 one is what I would use. Everything is just right there. I like that. I really like this program. So with any of you guys that don't like the Windows 8 interface simply because of the start menu aspect, like, that was my problem. The rest of it's fine. It's just the Metro and the, uh, it's just the Metro UI part of it and the, uh, and this being your all programs folder, I, I just have a problem with. So this looks like a really good option for those of you who like the classic interfaces and are forced to use Windows 8 down the road. Uh, you can do it. I'm going to personally, personally, I'd be using this. I'm going to keep it on the Windows 7 one because that blends well with the theme here. So you could take away, so you could redesign this whole taskbar here to make it like the old, like old Windows. In fact, let me do that real quick and see what it's like. All right, here we are. As you can see, I've made the taskbar back to the way it would be on my Windows 7 desktops where I make it smaller. And it just looks more traditional to me. So we can open this up, go to Firefox, and it'll just open up like a regular task. So on Windows 8, I can make it behave like it used to on the old versions of Windows which is pretty darn awesome. This is one thing I forgot to show. Uh, it added a little toolbar to uh, Windows Explorer here. With like buttons for cop cut, copy, paste, delete, properties, mail, classic Explorer settings. It changed, I think it also changed the skin to look more like Windows Vista too. Uh, I can't remember what it looked like beforehand, uh, but in the video, you you should probably see a difference from earlier in the video. There you have it. That is pretty awesome. So let's see what happens when you log out or something. Looks like you can't log out from the start menu here. Unfortunately, but you can restart, shut down, lock, switch user, do all that stuff. You can still get to the Metro UI to log out, so let me try logging out here. Let's hopefully this time it won't break the install again. <laughs> Looks like it didn't, so. So it still brings you to the the Metro UI. Oh wait, wait. It brings you to the Metro UI, then it brings you to the desktop right away. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I really recommend this add-on for people who dislike Windows 8 for the interface because this just fixes it. For me, this fixes it. That's pretty awesome. You know, I mentioned to YouTube user Vampic Power Egg in my video about the Windows 8 release preview that there would be third-party add-ons. Well, here you go. There already was one to begin with. That is so cool, man. So I just thought I'd uh, show you show you this particular program and show you that there are there is hope for us people out there that like our desktop computers to not be tablets and cell phones. <laughs> there are add-ons to bring that functionality back. So I could use Windows 8 like this perfectly fine with that add-on. Uh, that uh, that would make me happy, assuming all my software would work the way I wanted it to. I just thought that was pretty cool, and uh, you should check the you should check these guys out. Uh, let me shut it down with the uh, Windows 7 menu here. What do you want the computer to do? To shut off. Okay. So, that is the classic shell add-on. It is a it looks like a aws an awesome add-on for uh, pro users who still want to use Windows 8 or have to use Windows 8. And there you go, guys. I just thought I'd show you that cuz I thought it was interesting and to show that there is hope for people like me out there that just like a traditional desktop interface.
Anyhow, I've rambled on long enough, and there you have it. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.